L L Y. R O S K I. L L Y. And I'm with the Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District. All right. So to expand on what Jim said, is, is everybody, in, and because I'm an educator, you're going to get a couple minutes, I'm sorry. Is everybody familiar with how this permit came about? Uh, our, uh, Relatively. From our uh, uh, law director. Okay. You can, uh, okay, there's, uh, there's, I can give the spiel. Thank yeah. you for a couple minutes. So when the Clean Water Act was passed in the early 70s, they regulated point source pollution, which is pollution from industry or factories. You get over about a 10 year period and they're out there measuring things saying we, we predicted that the waterways would clean up by this certain percent because we've taken on a certain percentage of pollutions and it wasn't happening. So they realized, and I'm summarizing this a lot, is that they had to start regulating what's called non-point source pollution, which is stormwater. And stormwater is anything that when rain and snow melt goes over your property or over the land, it takes with it all those different pollutants puts it in a ditch system, down a storm drain, and out to our waterways completely untreated. Anything that's inside your house, flush your toilet, take a shower, that goes to a treatment plant, goes back out to the lake. Anything outside goes into, the, again, those storm drains, and it's untreated. So stormwater pollution is much more harmful than anything any industry or factory can do. And the way the EPA said, we are going to regulate this, is coming up with those six control measures that Jim mentioned. Uh, the first two, uh, the Soil and Water District, we handle uh, the first one, the second one, which is the majority of my position, and we also handle four and five to the construction sites. So part of what the Soil and Water District would like to do for the city of East Cleveland is to provide those first two control measures, public education and public involvement, and it's under the same premise of the sewer district's fee um, that when you go, go, get into an agreement with us, you pay us the $5,500 for that program, for that education program for your city, and then the sewer district will reimburse you for that. And it's a comprehensive education program. Uh, we know the permit. We know how to keep you in compliance. We know how to go above and beyond what is required to educate your citizens. Um, and we work with the city to provide a, a comprehensive education program to make change when it comes to stormwater pollution. Yes? So um, back in the day, we were out of compliance. Okay. Okay. Well, what has the city, is that where it's come to now? Like, has the city fulfilled any of these requirements yet, or is it a... Uh... No, we're working on that now. Good. Okay. You're on the right track. Always. Always. Good. Just yeah. got to get there. Anywhere forward is the right track. So, <laughs> so we've already sent an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, over to the city. Um, it's really a, you know, it's the same cost share program. Those fees are collected from the stormwater utility fee, which is based on the um, amount of impervious or hard surface you have at your home or your business or your church or wherever. Um, and then a portion of that, again, goes back to your city, which you use for these services, if you choose to. Okay? Well, thank you, Amy. Any other questions? All right, thank you. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, that's it for that. Yeah, I, I think the, the big thing is, is that we know that the EPA was here and um, they uh, imply that um, if, if the city didn't <coughs> comply with all of the regulations, we could be threatened with litigation. Yes. So I think the, you know, the big thing we want to do is to get in compliance um, and to you know, begin all the procedures that are necessary to ensure that we are uh, doing what we're supposed to do to avoid um, the EPA and you know, action from the EPA. Sorry. And we've signed an order that says that we're going to do this. I sent you a copy, the director's order. Mm -hmm. So, do we have that order? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's, that's been, that was like months and months ago, and yeah. we just have to, we need help in order to. I'm not saying that, but you know, when you send paperwork and goes around and comes back around and we have a tendency. It's been a while ago. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So if we need another copy, we'll... We got one in the office. Yeah. I said if we need another copy, mm -hmm. I'll get it out of the office. But right now, I, I, uh, I'm i glad that we're exercising our uh, fiduciary responsibility and the safety uh, 
for the city and you gentlemen and young lady have come here and to share all this information. I'm glad we don't have to share a lot of any money. <laughs> <laughs> and they will work You came in at a good time. <laughs> they, they, are, they would work complimentary mm -hmm. with each other. Right. I'm sure they will. They, if it's a, it's a cost sharing situation for both of them. As long as we get the money back, mm -hmm. I have problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Just got off work. Everybody went to this field. We had started the meeting when we were just talking in general. So. I'll do the spiel again. Well, you don't think I won't, because I will. <laughs> Keep yeah. you all night. I know you won't give me up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Since I don't have my gavel. Uh, it's okay. What's up? This meeting is not being called to order of the, uh, what is this? Special. Here we go. For special council meeting Thursday, November 10th. The time is now 6.50. Time is now 6.50. I'm sorry, 5.50. 5.50. Uh, call the roll. The, uh, Councilor Thomas. Present. Councilor Graham. Present. And Council President Andrew. Present. And we have um, Law Director Hemmons present and Law uh, Fiscal Director Jack Johnson present. Any, any remarks in the public? Okay. Remarks, uh, reports, and announcements from the mayor. Law Director already spoke about this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we're going to, on ordinance 1516 and 1616 and 1716, all of the emergencies, which take a vote of four. So, I, what I'd like to do is get a motion so we can move those to the agenda review tonight. This is on the uh, Agenda, agenda review, so you want to move this? Oh, special council. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. He showed up. Okay. Sorry, I'm late. Welcome, Mike. He showed up. I didn't expect to tell Jeff's coming. No, the council make Vice President King is here. Okay, ordinance number 1516 is an emergency and ordinance to amend ordinance 02-16. The 2016 permanent budget appropriations and declaration of declaring an emergency for the public safety, health, and welfare to fund city operations as required by the Ohio Fiscal Commission. Requested by Director of Finance and sponsored by Council Vice President Brendan L. King. Vice President King, this bears your name. What's your pleasure? I move that we adopt ordinance number 15 16. It's been moved. Any second? Second. We move second. Any discussion? Second. That was a bottom. Any discussion? No, I think, I think this.